hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up this is a simple regenerative fm radio receiver there are three transistors in this circuit the first transistor the s9018 is the regenerative receiver the other two transistors are preamplifiers fitting into the lm386 amplifier feel free to pause this video at any time to copy the circuit diagram to tune this radio you need a plastic tool i'm using a phillips screwdriver and the inductance is being influenced by this metal and also the presence of my hand so i use this radio here uh i use this to baseline or to find the frequency that this radio will just build together uh works on so right now on 98.5 if i raise the volume you can hear the music now i'm going to turn on the one we just built i'm being powered by the speaker uh all right so because my lm386 has some uh volume control issues i'm using at this part and it's very finicky this part i took it from another board so i don't want to touch it so i left it the way it is where it started working and then i'm using this to uh, boost the signal so when you build yours try to use a real potentiometer here don't use this preset this preset is finicky sometimes especially when you take it from another source now let's just test this radio now i'm gonna tune it right now right. so this is 98.5 to prove that i'm gonna raise the volume of this uh So it's playing on the same uh, frequency as the Sehuadon. So I'm going to change the Sehuadon to 105.3. Right. So we're going to now we're going to go to our radio and try to get the same 105.3. So I'm going to change the inductance here, lower the inductance, the higher the frequency. So let's see. Let's check. Yeah. That's the same frequency. Exact frequency. So, so we tuned this our radio. This radio will build together. We've tuned it to two frequencies right now: 105.3 and 98.5. So we're gonna prove that again. So this is our radio, and this is see. Hold on. All right. So we're gonna to go to 98.5 and check it again. All right. So now we're gonna go on our DIY radio and check the frequency. So I'm going to increase the inductance so I can decrease the frequency. Well, we don't need to prove. We don't need to prove anything anymore because as soon as we tuned it, it tells us 98.5 CKWY, right? So we got that. So the stations you get depends on the stations around, you know, available in your area. Here we use a fixed capacitor, three picofarad capacitor, and an inductor, a variable inductor from 0.6 to 1.7 microfarad. When you have those two in combination, you can get a range from 90 from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz based on our calculations we plugged in the values the minimum value and the maximum value of this inductor and uh, we found out 
and I'm going to read out the numbers to you. At 1.09 micro Henry and fixed capacitor of 3 picofarad and also at 0 0.723 micro Henry at the same uh, capacitance, we were able to cover 88 to 108. Right, so ranges from 0 0.6 to 1.7. So it covers this range comfortably. And we chose a value of capacitor this. We tried to to see the ranges. 1.08 to 1.63. Actually, we can get this from our inductor because our inductor is up to 1.7. So we can actually use two, two picofarad capacitor to still cover the same range. Uh, but we can't use one picofarad because one picofarad requires that our inductor goes from 3.27 to 2.17 and our inductor doesn't get to that range our inductor um, is only from 0 0.6 to 1.7 so when you have this kind of inductor try to go for two picofarads or three picofarads to cover this range and if you're using other ranges do your calculation and find out what works best for your uh, inductors and capacitors so remember your tank circuit or your resonance circuit is a function of the inductance and capacitance. All right. So let's do our demo one more time. We also built a do-it-yourself RF choke. If you can notice this choke here, this inductor here, very long inductor, we just made it around this screwdriver. And as you plug in the screwdriver, the value of the inductance changes. So we just use it as our RF choke. We don't really need it for this radio, but we just added it, all right. So let's try, let's see. Okay, as you can see, the presence of this screwdriver affects the RF signal. Let's try. Let's try it again. Now, as you have seen, the presence of this screwdriver affects the quality of the RF signal. Let's try it again.
Maybes, what ifs, and imagine that. A gift that can beat all the gifts. Oh, it's a scary dream. A gift that can give back. A what if? Instant tickets, lottery tickets, and OLG gift cards. Stockings love lottery. All right. So we just found another frequency. We just found another frequency right now. 107, 106.7. This RF choke helped us to find this frequency. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.